August 8th, 1974. In his final presidential address, President Richard M. Nixon announced his resignation due to his role in the Watergate scandal, effective at noon the next day. While the impeachment process were still ongoing, he asserted that his apparent political weaknesses made the decision clear. As historian Garrett M. Gaff emphasizes, the speech mixed sadness with defiance. National duty with family. He remarked, I have never been a quitter. To leave my office before my term is complete is arborant to every instinct in my body. But as president, I must put the interest of America first. He passed his presidency to Vice President Gerald F. Ford. When Ford officially pardoned Nixon on September 8th, it was not a popular decision. As Gaff writes, the move was met with widespread national indignation. Ford's own press secretary resigned in protest and with a cascade of letters condemning the act of clemency. In announcing his pardon, President Ford stated, I feel that Richard Nixon and his loved ones have suffered enough and will continue to suffer no matter what I do. Thank you. That's your day in history. August 8, 1974. August 8, 1974. In his final presidential address, President Richard M. Nixon announced his resignation due to his role in the Watergate scandal, effective at noon the following day. While his impeachment process was still ongoing, he asserted that his apparent political weakness made the decision clear. As historian Garrett M. Gaff emphasizes, the speech missed sadness with defiance, national duty with family. He remarked, I've never been a quitter. To leave my office before the term is complete is arborant to every instinct in my body. But as president, I must put the needs of America first. He passed his presidency to Vice President Gerald F. Ford. When Ford officially pardoned Nixon on September 8th, it was not a popular decision. As Gaff writes, the move was met with widespread national indignation. Ford's own press secretary resigned in protest and a cascade of letters condemning the act of clemency. In announcing the pardon, President Ford stated, I feel that Richard Nixon and his loved ones have suffered enough and will continue to suffer no matter what I do. Thank you so much. This is your day in history, August 8th. 1974.